On today's episode of Moto Chase. That whole dog. Trying to see if the blockage will come out. Just to limp it by. out 75 in here I guess we'll see if this air conditioner is really fixed huh <laughs> it's making funny noises That's weird. Made some funny noises. 75. Well, it took a little while, but it pulled it down to 71 and it's holding. Definitely nice cold air coming out of vents. Maybe it worked. I think it's definitely might work. Definitely might work. How you like that? Later that same evening. So it ended up being 80 degrees outside. So it did hold it for the most part. I have to check the charge again. Maybe I gotta add just a little wee bit more. Maybe it'll hold. Who knows? It's right in the direct sun. Hottest part of the day. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, so. Later. You want to go? No. Yes, he does. All right, I'd rather watch this. That's right. He ain't playing. <laughs> we got you on film. That's right. You're on camera. That's the way you do it. That's how we do it down south. That's right. The next day. Placing a GFI. I think it's bad. <laughs> GFCI, or whatever the hell they call it now. I'd say that ground fault receptacle was bad. Mm hmm. And it's done. And now I gotta go underneath and move that plug. For the washer dryer combo. I'm definitely gonna have to get under there and put some insulation and some Tyvek to hold it all up afterwards, but it's pretty solid underneath. Considering, you know, Missing some insulation, but yeah, I'll we'll have to do that. What the heck is that? <laughs> Almost looks like a head, doesn't it? What the hell is that? Weird. The next day. There's a load over here. It's right over here. Oh, manatee. It's about manatee? eight feet to your left. You oh, yeah, I see him. Oh, you can't see it now. You can just about see the shape of him. You see a boat? You see a boat? You <laughs> see fish? You see him? Hi. Oh, yeah. Heard something jump. Those are some 
small little glass. Two males and a female. Those are small mallards. Some raised mallards. I got no bread for you. Sorry. Many hours later. Woo! Got me new vacuum. Musel M24. UPS just got here. It's pretty late for UPS. It's like 8:30. So. I'm so excited over vacuum, right? What the hell? And it's pouring out. See? It's alright, it was nice all day. And there's a turbo! You know what? Didn't work too bad. Sort of picked up. First time. I don't have any gauges like those fancy testers, but it's pretty good on turbo. I'm gonna charge her up. Someone dumped their filter back here. Garbage. Five gallon buckets. That was like a pool filter or something. Look at it. Sawhorse. That was a pool. Yeah, somebody just dumped their garbage. There must have been a road that came in here then. That's what we saw. It must have been a road that yeah. cut all the way through here and then mm -hmm. now it just turned into a jungle because see there's beer cans. Beer cans. jungle. What the hell is that? A boat? That's a boat. Unbelievable. The people dump, huh? That's an old tri-hull. <laughs> oh man, that's been there a long time. Wow. We'll see what the sticker is on it. Something metal. Florida. Can't even see the year anymore. 3050AA. Sticker so old you can't even tell. Wow. Here's a part of an air conditioner. Hood. Wow. How the hell did they get it in here? That's they must have drug it. There, was, there, there must have been a road over there where we saw the other garbage mm -hmm. and they just kept dragging it. Wow. Because, I mean, look. There's... We're in the middle of that five acres. It's a jungle. <laughs> but now it is. We are all back in the bush. Right? In the bush. Guess I need a machete. Huh. Did the whole front of it torn off? I guess the coyotes must have wanted to play. <laughs> you can see. Oh, uh, you can't. I thought I saw the roof of a, another cabin over there. No.
Right. Early the next morning. Cold this morning, boys. 40 degrees. What the hell? Bald eagle. No talking, faster working. <laughs> Get that hole dug. <laughs> 86 years old. No, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me older than I am. I know. <laughs> Keep her working, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up, I'll give you water. You know what? <laughs> Nothing compared to what we grew up with. Holes. <laughs> Moving oh. rock walls and digging holes. Right. Fence looks pretty good. My mom does good work for her age, huh? Well, I'm gonna have to tell her to pick that dirt pile up, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Not bad. What do you think? Haul it back to New York like that? That'll be fine, right? That'll be fine. No way. Wow. Which knees? Your low knees? Yeah. Or your high knees? Oh, that too. What you looking for, condor? Or whatever you are. At end of the road, turn left onto North Hidden Oaks Way. Chicken wing. Got some dirt build up from the ride. Caked on. From the bike rack. That bike rack will do it. Guess I'll be about another hour. Battery's dead. I checked it before I left, but GoPro likes to drain the battery on that other backup battery once in a while, I guess, you know? Alright, alright, alright. It's time to ride the hawk. Fence looks good, huh? Let's see how the hawk does in the sand. Kickstand does okay. <laughs> She's a washi. I guess Whitey did a lot better than I thought. Oh, Sandy. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Old Cowie. Just doing a little exploring. a trail
think I found a shortcut to I don't know where find out DLX is running good. Trusted enough to go venture alone miles into the woods. lost and there's a gate there oh wow another dead end huh I might end up having to pull out the GPS. I got a full tank of gas. It's a hell of a house out here. Well, I guess that's the end here too. Huh. It's amazing how many dead ends there are. I bet you. I bet this comes out on 486. Definitely looks like this is more used. What the heck wrote it? taking us hmm. that's it gotta find myself a little phone holder oh what do we have here oh okay donkeys I can see the power plant from here. Boo! It's a good day to get lost, boys and girls. That's right. This is that good sugar sand. Or bad sugar sand. Whatever you want to call it.
<laughs> whenever I see those stacks, I think of the Simpsons. Oh, railroad. Huh. Well, I've definitely never been here before. road on the other side to get to the main road which is I don't know what road I bet this is the tracks that go to Inverness huh and there you have one of the main reasons why People shut down little roads that you can take off on the side roads. Wide open road! Open her up a bit. Not enough for a ticket, but you know. I know where we are now. Wow, that was a pretty fun trail. I knew the trails would lead out to here somewhere. So there's really the first good ride I got on these knobbies. People have been asking me and I can't really say because I haven't ridden on this knobby, but I'd say it's pretty freaking good. Definitely good in that sand. I'd imagine it's a lot better than the uh, skinny tire that was on it. So wow, yeah, you can hit them trails and hit the tracks and apparently go quite a bit farther than I did. Hmm. What the heck is that? Yeah, one thing I noticed about the DLX over the Hawk definitely has some pretty good low-end grunt now if you really modify a hawk that's carbureted with a pipe and everything I think you might be able to squeak maybe a little more on the top end than this has but this definitely has good low and mid-range pull compared to the hawk but of course you can't really modify these yet because I don't know if there's any kind of map for the fuel injection yet so you can't really modify because the computer will only compensate a little bit for whatever modifications you do. Like honestly, right off the bat, I think you could probably remap this and get some more horsepower out of it. Just the way it is stock. So I'll probably in the future be looking into that. Like that's fifth gear. But I gotta say, Whitey's gonna give this thing a really good run. I think with all the modifications that I did to Whitey, might beat this. Be pretty close. But I think Whitey's got more top end right now because it's got a higher rev and RPM. Yeah, you know, I didn't admit this, but I never tightened the screws up for that when I put this together. You done good, Hockey. You done good. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.